We've seen so far how great Cubes is at improving our security. It improves our security through the different security domains by isolating them inside individual virtual machines that use their own resources. We saw how cool the disposable and the vault virtual machines are and more. All of these features make a really secure operating system and they also improve our user experience and force the users to use their operating system in a more secure manner. So that's the security part covered, but we still haven't covered how to become anonymous and how to improve our privacy while surfing the internet using cubes. Because all of the virtual machines that we've seen so far access the internet directly and therefore are vulnerable to trackers and so on. Now all of these operating systems use the same networking virtual machine, which is the sysnet right here. Like I said, this routes the traffic directly to the internet and therefore they're not anonymous or private. However, Cubes also offer another networking service, which is the SysHunix. This is a networking service that forces the traffic to go through the Tor network. Therefore, when a machine is configured to use the SysHunix as the gateway, this machine's traffic will be forced to go through the Tor network, therefore improving our privacy and anonymity. Now, by default, we have a domain called AnonHunix. This is something that I haven't covered so far. And as usual, because this is a domain, this means that this is a virtual machine designed for us to use to carry out day-to-day -day tasks, to carry out normal tasks. And this virtual machine is a template of the Hunix workstation right here and is configured to use the SysHunix as its gateway. Therefore, all of the traffic going out of the Anon Hunix virtual machine will be forced to go through the Tor network. Let me show you real quick before we run this machine. So I'm gonna go to my Cubes Manager, and in here, you'll notice that we have the Anon Hunix right here. This is the virtual machine that we can use for our day-to-day -day use because it is a domain. And if you look under the NetVM right here, you'll see that it is configured to use the SysHunix as its network virtual machine, which means that all of the traffic in this virtual machine will be forced to go to the SysHunix, which will force that traffic to go through the Tor network. Now, if you look at all of the other virtual machines, you'll see that they're configured to use the sys firewall. For example, the work right here, you'll see that it is configured to use the sys firewall as its networking virtual machine. And if we follow this, we have sys firewall right here, you'll see this will redirect the traffic to the internet. So any traffic in my work domain and all of the other virtual machines will go to the sys firewall and then to the sysnet and to the internet. Therefore, it is not anonymous and it's not private. So let's go ahead and use this virtual machine. So we're just gonna go again, as usual, to the virtual machine we want to start, which is Anon Hunex. And you can see a list of all of the programs that you can run inside this virtual machine. First one is an IRC chat client that you can use to communicate over IRC if you want. You got your settings, you get your file manager, you have the Tor browser, which we've been using inside different operating systems. So using it in here is identical. You have a wizard that'll allow you to download and update Tor. Using this is very simple. You can just click it to run it. It'll check what's the latest version. And if there is a new version, you can install it from here. You can run the Hunex check right here to check the whole Hunex operating system, the whole Hunex virtual machine, make sure that it's up to date, make sure that it is configured and it's running as expected. This actually runs the first time you run Tails. If you remember, when we got the Hunex wizard and we went through it in the first basics lecture of this section, so there's no need to run this again. And you also have your terminal where you can execute commands inside this virtual machine. So right now, let's just go ahead and run the Tor browser. Obviously, as usual, this will start the Hunex virtual machine first, and then as soon as it starts, it'll launch an instance of the Tor browser. And perfect, as you can see, we have 
the Tor browser running inside the Anon Hunex domain. Notice the color, it's different than all of the other domains. Again, this will help you to easily know which domain you're working in or which virtual machine. And you can navigate to check.tor.com or just click on the IP check in here. And you'll see that, that this machine is configured to use the Tor browser properly. So we are accessing the internet through Tor. So right now you can go ahead and access Tor hidden services from this browser. You can also change its settings in here from the same places that you're used to. So this is the exact same browser that we're using. The only difference is right now it's running through its own isolated virtual machine. And as usual, if this virtual machine gets compromised or hacked in any way, it is completely isolated. So it is very difficult and highly unlikely that the hacker will be able to exit this and compromise other virtual machines. Now, just to confirm, I already have a web browser here running in my work domain. And let's just go to Google and check what's my IP. You'll see that my IP, my actual real IP in here, is completely different than the IP that we see in here inside the Tor browser because inside the Hunex virtual machine, like I said, everything's being forced to go through the Tor network. Whereas my work virtual machine, if we look at the Cubes VM in here, the work virtual machine is using the Sys firewall as its virtual machine, which forwards data directly to the SysNet and therefore goes directly to the internet. Now, another really cool virtual machine that we have in here is the disposable Hunex workstation. So we already covered the normal disposable virtual machine and we saw how this can be very useful to run untrusted applications, untrusted files, or open untrusted websites. Because like we said, every time you start a disposable virtual machine, cubes create a completely new virtual machine and then when you stop it this virtual machine is completely destroyed therefore even if it contained any malware this malware will be destroyed along with the actual virtual machine and because this is a completely isolated virtual machine it is very difficult to compromise the other machines so right here, we have another disposable virtual machine. The only difference between the Hunex and the Fedora one, the Hunex one, as the name suggests, will force all of the traffic to go through the Hunex gateway, which forces all the traffic to go through the Tor network. So you can think of this like a disposable virtual machine that will force all the traffic through the Tor network. So you can use this virtual machine to run any untrusted darknet links and there are a lot of untrusted darknet links. So this is very, very useful. And you can also use it to run any untrusted files that you get through the darknet. Now, usually you shouldn't trust any files you get even on the clear net, but if you're receiving files or if you wanna open files that you download from the darknet, then you should definitely run it inside a disposable virtual machine. Now using this is similar to any other virtual machine. You can run the application that you want from here. And because it is disposable, like I said, when you click on an application, a virtual machine will be created specifically to run this application only. And when you close the application, the whole virtual machine will be destroyed. Now with these two virtual machines and with the way Cubes is structured, you can do so much more. You can actually create a different virtual machine for every identity that you wanna use on the dark net. So for example, you can have a number of domains similar to the way we have work and personal and untrusted here that all go through the clear net. You can have a number of virtual machines that force their traffic through the Hunex gateway through Tor and use each one of them for every identity you use on the dark net. Or for example, use one of them for chat, use one of them to only include your crypto wallets and use the other for surfing the internet or for surfing the dark net. So you can really structure this any way you want and doing that is very, very simple. Let me show you. So again, you need to go back to your cubes manager and all you have to do is right click the machine that you want to clone or create a copy of and in this case, let's say you wanna make a copy of our Anon Hunex because this is the virtual machine that forces traffic through the uh, Tor network. And all you have to do is right click it and click on Clone Cube. This will create a new virtual machine that is identical to Anon Hunex. And then you can use this for any other reason you want. 
So this is really really cool and can be tailored to fit so many scenarios and so many uses.